Right now, we want to update you on that breaking news about the unconscious man in the water near the Courtney Campbell Causeway. A press conference right now underway. Let's take a listen. What appears to have happened, uh, based on what the witness says, uh, there was a couple, a man and a woman, and um, they were stuck on a sandbar. And at some point, uh, they called back to the boat rental company for assistance, and they said, we'll just push it off the sandbar uh, to free them. Uh, the man did, and as he was pushing it off, it took a, an extra step and went under the water, said he appeared once more, um, and then wasn't seen again. Uh, right now, we have multiple agencies out here looking for this gentleman. Uh, we have uh, safety harbors here, Clearwater uh, Fire Rescue, Tampa Police Department, uh, the Coast Guard, the Florida uh, Fish and Wildlife Commission. They're all here uh, in a diligent effort to try to find this gentleman, locate him, and make sure that, uh, that he is uh, recovered safely. There were two witnesses on the shore you mentioned? There were. There were two gentlemen that were uh, on the shoreline who uh, saw the, the woman's cry for help. Uh, both of those gentlemen entered the water in an attempt to try to uh, recover the gentleman, but they were uh, unsuccessful, unfortunately, and that's where we stand right now. So um, we have uh, aerial units, we have our divers from Tampa Fire Rescue and Tampa Police Department uh, who are in the water. All right, you've been listening to a news conference re re uh, regarding a man who's been underwater for about two hours now. Apparently his boat was stuck on a sandbar near the Courtney Campbell Causeway. And uh, he tried to get himself off that sandbar, went underwater, and never resurfaced. Multiple agencies still out there looking for that victim. Right now, we'll keep you updated on this breaking story as soon as we get more information.